If you're going to ride a dressage test, you're going to have to ride at least one hold and you're going to want it to be perfectly still, straight and square with a leg at each corner under the horse to really impress the judges. The first thing to master is a still hold. Immobility is what the judges are after. You don't want to confuse your horse in training by asking him for loads of adjustments that make him fidgety in the hold. Once your horse is happy to halt and stand quietly, then you can worry about how square he is. Start training halts from walk before moving on to teaching a horse to halt from trot. Remember that in the early levels of dressage, halts can be progressive, so the judge is okay with seeing a few strides of walk between trot and halt. Preparing your horse and allowing him time to make the transition is wise in the early stages of training. Letting a horse have time to position himself will also help with developing a square halt. When we say square, we mean that the horse is standing with one leg at each corner under his body. So if you stood behind the horse or next to him, you would only see two legs as the legs on the opposite side would be hidden behind those. The hind legs should be directly underneath the horse and not stretched out behind. The better the quality of your horse's walk or trot before your halt, then the better his halt will be. Your horse needs to be moving forwards with purpose, so that when you collect and prepare for the halt, the horse remains active, rather than dropping behind your leg and dribbling into the halt. Gently use your legs to keep the horse's hind leg working underneath him. This will also help him to halt square behind. Confusingly, any downward transition is actually a forwards movement. You don't want to be taking power away as you decrease the pace you want the feeling of riding forwards into halt. If your horse is straight in his walk and his trot, then he's more likely to stand straight in his halt. You can test how straight he is by practicing riding squares instead of circles. Then practice riding halt transitions on the square after a turn. The turn will help position the horse's hind leg into the correct place to ask for a square halt. Think about your own position and balance as this will affect how straight and square your horse's halt is. To ask your horse to halt, Put a little weight into your heel and sit really tall and deep in the saddle. Think of letting everything go down through your stirrups, but remember to keep looking up and ahead. Once your horse is ready to be taught how to adjust his position in the halt, gently use your leg for whichever leg your horse is training behind him. For example, a touch with your right leg if your horse's right hind leg is out behind him. Correct the horse by asking him to take one small step with that leg, maintain a soft rein contact, and when the horse reacts, Praise him with your voice, even if he hasn't now positioned himself perfectly. That way the horse will start to learn what you want and you'll be starting to train the perfect hold. Practice makes perfect, but don't overdo it and don't get into a battle. If your horse is becoming confused or it's not working as you'd hoped, walk on and try again, on another day if necessary. Keep your training fun, light, clear and full of praise. Good luck! Do you score 10 for your perfect holds? What's your secret? Let us know how you get on trying this exercise and don't forget to comment below and like and follow for more training advice of all levels.